Hi everyone! Hey. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very special video. We are going to be trying unagi. For me, for the first time, and Yoshi, it's an old favorite. For anyone who doesn't know what unagi is, it's a Japanese luxury food. It's eel! So it's something that I never thought I would be eating before, but here it's a very precious, luxurious food. So let's try some eel. It's a city about an hour train ride from Tokyo. It's a really cool city because for about over a hundred years, I think, parts of the city have been protected. So the architecture is still the same as over a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. Yoshi has been waiting for about a year and a half to eat eel. <laughs> <laughs> so he's really excited. Yeah. And today is my first time trying it. So I'm really excited too. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. My first time. This is Hitsunabushi. So it's Unaju. Mm. What's the difference from them? Hitsunabushi is this soup from Unagi. This one is no soup. No soup. Mm. You see, I decided to get this one. Unagi. Unagi. It's 3,850 yen, maybe a little less than 40 US dollars. Mm. 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 
It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I read online that the sauce is made from shoyu or soy sauce and mirin, like sweet Japanese wine and sake. Thank you. You know well. <laughs> <laughs> and I did my research. <laughs> It's good. It's smooth tasting. It's like really light tasting fish maybe. It's better than I expected. <laughs> Erin is good at using chopsticks. <laughs> I'm still not a professional like Yoshi. And Yoshi's a chopstick master. <laughs> we don't use spoon <laughs> to eat. That they use with the soup in it that you saw before, and then they just stick like this. I think they should put holes in the chopstick here so you can have a straw. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. The reason that this is so expensive is because there's not so many eels anymore, like in Japanese waters. So if you want to get real eel, then you have to pay the price, but it's worth it. Mm. I didn't expect eel to be so fluffy. No. Fish. No. Because the outside is so slippy. Well, you don't have this sauce mm. in America, right? Yeah. We don't usually use this sauce. Mm. This sauce is so unique. Mm -hmm. and this sauce is kept around for a really long time. Passed down for many generations. Yeah. Kept in the same family. Mm. And I think they just keep adding to it. So it ferments for years. <laughs> they open this shop one 180 years ago, oh, really? about, yeah, about wow. 200 years ago, wow. maybe one drop <laughs> of, of this sauce, sauce. <laughs> we're eating today. For sure, the sauce is the most important. This fish is very healthy for you, I think. Mm. It has lots of vitamins, vitamin A, B, D. Well, Japanese people like to eat it in the summertime because they think that all of the vitamins and the it's high in healthy fats, it helps them to sustain the summer. <laughs> this small pickles good to refresh. Yeah, Yoshi said it's very important that you get good quality eel. Cheap eel is not good. If you're gonna splurge on something, splurge on the eel <laughs> in Japan. First impression is important. Mm. This one is Sancho kind of hard. Mm. You can put a little bit sancho mm. and change the taste. Mm. Yeah. It tastes like soap a little bit, like tea, mm. a little bit. You finished. You finished so fast. <laughs> so good. Just finished. So full. So full. It looks smaller than it actually is. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Satisfied. We're so full and so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you can watch our next video. Bye! Bye. See you next time. Bye!